Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example has an interesting solution, so let's find out what it looks like. But here we have an equation that's not in standard form. We need to move everything over to the left side, so we'll have a zero on the right side. So let's do that. End up with x squared minus 3x. The positive x becomes a negative x, just like with an equal sign. Whenever we cross that inequality symbol, the sign of the numbers or the characters change. So this becomes a negative x, and that becomes a positive 4 greater than 0. Now we simply have to uh, simplify what we have here. So x squared minus 4x plus 4 greater than 0. So now we're ready to find the critical points by replacing that inequality symbol by an equal symbol. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. And of course, we do that to find the critical points. Notice how I wrote that just to make sure that we say that is not the case. This is just something we do to find the critical points. It's the technique that we employ. It's not that it's equal to. This is obviously not the same thing as our original inequality. So now let's find the critical points. So can we factor this? Let's see if we can. We have an x and an x. The symbols are negative and negative and 2 and 2. Well, in this case, it looks like we only have one critical point. We can say that x minus 2 equals 0, and therefore x equals 2, and so we can see there is only one single critical point. Let's draw the number line. 2, 3, 4, and let's mark the critical point on here. The only one that we have is the number 2. We draw a circle around that. And notice in this case, we're not going to fill in the circle because we know that we have an inequality symbol and not an equal sign. It does not include the critical point. It does not include the endpoint. So 2 is not part of the solution. Notice that we only have two regions now. We have a region to the left. Let's call that region 1. And a region to the right. Let's call that region 2. And now let's see which of those two regions satisfy that inequality. All right, we pick a point on the left side and we pick a point on the right side. So let x equals 0. That's, we'll test region number 1. And we'll plug that into the original inequality. Let's go over here and plug it into here. And let's see if that is correct when x equals 0. So we have 0 squared minus 4 times 0 plus 4. Is that greater than 0? Question mark. So this is 0, this is 0, so we have 4 greater than 0, and the answer is yes. That means the region on the left, region number 1, satisfies the inequality. How about picking let, uh, let x equals 3? Let x equals 3, and that will test the region on the right of that uh, number 2. So here we have 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 4 is that greater than 0 question mark so we have 9 minus 12 plus 4 is that greater than 0 question mark notice that's 13 minus 12 1 greater than 0 the answer is yes so again we picked a point in a region that satisfies inequality so region number two also does so it appears that everything on the number line satisfies inequality except for the number two now we darken the portion of the line that satisfies inequality. So in this case, everything to the left of 2 and everything to the right of 2, but not including the point 2. So how do we mathematically write that answer? Well, we can say that um, x is less than 2 and not included, and x is greater than 2. So this would be one way in which we can write the answer all the values for x that are less than 2 and all the values of x that are greater than 2, but not including 2. We can also write it like this, negative infinity all the way to 2, but not including 2 and not including negative infinity, and 2 all the way to infinity, but again I use parentheses instead of brackets because infinity nor the number 2 are included. So we can write it like this. Or we can write the mathematical symbol, negative infinity to 2 with parentheses and 2 all the way to out infinity. And so we can write it like this as well. So those are the mathematical ways in which we can express the answers, all values on the number line except the number 2. And that is how it's done.